Hi there, welcome to my video. My name is Alicia if you are new to my channel and today I thought it'd be quite cool to do a review on my Dior sling bags. If you do like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe and let's dive on in. So I purchased my first ever Dior pair of shoes in December. I absolutely love everything about Dior and I've never owned anything from them before. And when they brought out their Dior sling bags, I had just been obsessing about them over Pinterest and on their website. And I just thought that they were such a beautiful, elegant shoe. And I thought that I really needed it in my collection. Well, speaking of my collection, I didn't actually have a collection at the time. I had a couple pairs of Gucci shoes. My mind had always been on handbags. And now that I've got a couple pairs of designer shoes, I understand why it's, um, it is, it's a nice feeling to have them and to look at them. And I feel like the Dior sling bags are a beautifully designed shoe, but it's also a piece of art. So to have it sitting up in my wardrobe, it's just so beautiful to look at them. And it's weird, but it gives me like a really nice kind of fuzzy feeling, um, knowing that they're there. Um, the Dior sling bags are, they are a little bit of an investment, but when it comes to Dior, you are paying for what you get. So you are getting some serious craftsmanship. The quality is just unreal. Um, my Gucci shoes, I've had to send them away to get fixed. Um, I even had to exchange a pair for a different style because um, the Diamantes kept falling out. And don't get me wrong, the quality of Gucci is really, really good. But the quality of Dior is, you understand why you pay for it because you are getting just an extraordinary product. So now that we've kind of had a bit of a run through on why I got them, I will show you. The first pair of shoes I actually got from Dior were the Dior Kitten Slingbacks. I think they're super cute. Um, I fell in love with them through um, social media. It just seems to be how I fall in love with everything nowadays. It's amazing the influence of social media when it comes to um, things that I want. I mean, you don't need any of these things, but it's it's about wanting them. <laughs> and I was super lucky to have gone into the Dior on Queen Street in New Zealand, um, and they actually had my size in stock. It was literally the last pair and they only had them in the color I wanted. So I just felt like it was kind of a sign and it was a Christmas present to myself and it was just, yeah, it all kind of like fell into place and it was just meant to be. So I got these and I love them. And when I was in the store, I fell in love with the Dior nude slingbacks, but in the flats. So I didn't actually pick these up on the same day. These were something that I kind of mulled over and thought about and I just thought it would be really nice to have a pair of flats. Um, I, I didn't own any nude shoes at the time so these are my first kind of beige shoes and I just thought it would be good to have a pair of flats to wear on the daily. Surprisingly I thought I would be wearing the black ones more but I've actually worn these ones more just because they're more of an everyday shoe and I'm 5'9". So I don't actually go for heels um, most days. I normally go for flats, um, which is another reason why I fell in love with the Dior kitten heels because they're so cute. Um, you've got the height. The fact that they had the kitten ones and the flats, um, yeah, which is why I am where I am with the Dior shoes. Cool, so we'll go and order from um, purchase. So I purchased these ones first in December in 2018. So it's about four months ago now. And I haven't worn them as much as I thought I was gonna wear them. I more enjoy having them on the shelf and looking at them because they are so beautiful to look at and it's so nice to know that these are in my collection. I have worn them a couple of times um, out and about. Actually, the first time I wore these shoes, we went on a huge walk. Oh my gosh, it would have been like 2Ks from where we were having lunch. We decided to go for a bit of shopping afterwards and we walked all the way down Queen Street and all the way back up again and they were ridiculous. I couldn't believe that I was wearing a heel and they were that comfortable. Like my partner was constantly like, are you okay? Are you sure you wanna like do this? And I was like, yep, we're going shopping. I can handle it. Um, I was prepared for some sort of like crazy pain breaking um, feeling because I hadn't worn them before. So it was like the first time wearing them like out of the house. And they were, yeah, insanely comfortable. I mean, it did kind of feel a little bit squished at the front of my foot near the end of it. But I mean, that wasn't really much of an issue just because it is quite a point. So you will find that your your toes will kind of like squish up there, um, but it wasn't like that bad at all. Um, and I've worn them a couple of times since and yeah, they've just been so comfortable and they just look insane. Like the way that the shoe is designed, how it's quite thin, 
it really elongates your leg and just kind of um, the little heel as well just gives you that beautiful definition in your calf so you do get the stiletto look of your legs but without the height which you know I'm all about that because ain't getting me in stilettos so as you can see it's got the signature Dior kind of swoosh back here which I think um, is why these are so comfortable because if you think of where your bone is in your leg and the way it holds up your body from your foot it doesn't sit at the end like your bones not here your bones actually going to be sitting here for your leg so the pressure point has actually got something to support it which I believe is why these are so comfortable because these are so freaking comfortable and I, and I've seen on YouTube girls who've gotten the large ones, um, the full 10 centimeters, and they say that they're super comfortable. So going off that, it sounds like the way that Dior has their signature kind of heel has really worked in their favor to make their shoes extra comfortable. So like I said, I haven't really worn them much. So they're still in like pretty good condition. As you can see, there's like barely any wear and tear on the bottom. I didn't get them protected. I was too excited to wear them and I haven't really done that. Um, if you guys have any tips and tricks regarding like bottom soles and to protect the sole of the shoe, please let me know in the comments below because I am still quite new to like nice shoes and taking care of them. So um, yeah, please let me know of any, um, any ideas to kind of help make the shoe last for longer. But I mean, yeah, it's barely been worn. Um, as you can see, I'm a size, I've gone for the 39. Um, I could have done the 39 and a half, but I actually like the way that these looked on um, as a 39 and they felt a lot more, um, they felt quite comfortable because I have heard that over time this can stretch out a little bit and in the 39.5 it was already a little bit loose and the last thing I'd want to do would be to spend all this money on a pair of shoes that then wouldn't fit me later on and I have to spend more money to fix them. Because I think when you're spending this kind of money on a pair of shoes, you shouldn't have to fix them. They should just like last forever. Um, but we'll see how long forever is when it comes to these shoes. So a bit of info on the shoe. I actually went for the black with the material. I didn't go for the patent leather with the black because I just really like this material look. I just thought that you get that classic um, Dior look that can kind of be a little bit more neutral and not so like flashy because I'm not really much of a flashy girl So I thought that the material um, was really really nice. So regarding the the slingback bit um, Yeah, really comfortable You don't it doesn't even feel like it's there. It's so snug and it's just really really nice So I really enjoy wearing the shoes. However, um I have seen some people with these shoes and they don't look very nice. They're quite dirty so one thing that the sales assistant told me was if, um, if you've got a spray tan on or anything like that to be to like kind of avoid wearing these shoes she pretty much said like don't wear them if you've got a spray tan because your tan will rub off all around the shoes same with moisturizers if you've got like a tinted moisturizer that you use or if you've got a moisturizer that's got like shimmer in it it can rub off onto the material part and discolor it totally fine with you depending on like if you don't care or if you've um figure the way like maybe to cover the inside part or I mean I'm not too sure I am pretty lazy I don't wear self tanner um, or get spray tans or anything like that I'm quite white naturally um, which isn't always a good thing but I am um, yeah I just don't do that so that's something I don't really need to worry about so just be wary of that when it comes to these shoes if you decide to go for them and if you are a tanner well Alicia tanner or a spray tanner um, don't mind me. Now that's a bit of a review on these shoes. So going on to the next pair of shoes, which was a total spontaneous, crazy kind of um, decision to get these. Um, when I went in to get the black kitten heels, I saw these and I thought they were super cute. And I thought the flats are just great because yeah, going back to being tall, um, I normally go for flat shoes on the everyday and I thought it'd be really cool to have a pair of beautiful classic slingbacks um, that I could wear every day. And I really like patent nude. I think it's really beautiful. And it really dresses up an outfit. Like you could literally be wearing anything and it just kind of elevates it to another level. So I'm normally wearing these with blue jeans and a white t-shirt or blue jeans and like a light t-shirt. Just kind of keeping it quite neutral. I mean, to be honest, my outfit right now um, would work with it. Cause I mean, yeah, you just gotta keep it quite neutral. You can't wear too heavy of colors. I feel like um, dark colors don't go too well. As for the black ones, they will go with anything, um, literally. So that will be the difference between the two. 
Um, but yeah, I fell in love with these when I went into the store to get those shoes. In New Zealand, Auckland, we don't have many shops to choose from when it comes to designer. We've only got um, Dior, Prada, Gucci and Louis Vuitton is like literally the four shops we have available in New Zealand. Anyways, going on with the shoe, I love these shoes. Like they are so freaking comfortable, it's out of control. Like the slingback, you can't even feel it, but the shoes, like your feet are so snug and they become one with you, these shoes. Like wearing them, it doesn't even feel like I've got shoes on. Um, I haven't worn them much. But I have worn them more than the black ones, but they're wearing re um, really well. The same sort of thing goes with these as the black ones. Like you wouldn't wear them in the rain because you wouldn't want to get the material part wet. You wouldn't sp have spray tan on or any sort of moisturizer down by your ankles just to avoid um, wear and tear and to get like a good life out of them. But I really do love having these in my collection and having them on the shelf. Since getting these shoes, I've kind of escalated when it comes to luxury shoes. I know why people get them now, because it's the feeling of wearing them on your feet. Like they're so freaking comfortable. And I feel like the slingback version is gonna be around for a while. So out of the two shoes, I do wear the nude ones more, but I would say that my favorite ones are the kitten heel. I think that they are just super classic and elegant and they, look so good but i haven't worn them like i said much so i'm going to be making a conscious effort to pick them out of my wardrobe when i go out i find that when i go and see friends i always try and like keep it quite like tame and neutral and i think i will make a more conscious effort to wear them because i think the dior slink sorry i keep i keep looking at them as i'm talking but I think that the Dior slingbacks are just so freaking gorgeous and once again it's classic and you see these on someone's feet you know what they are and I think that that's really great to have a statement um, when it comes to um, accessories. My logic is handbags and shoes and accessories and all that will always fit. Obviously your clothes, you're constantly changing sizes. Um, I don't know about you, but I mean, depends on the year, depends on my size. Now I've started investing in, in more kind of um, quality pieces when it comes to my footwear. So for me, I really love them. I'm actually a little bit obsessed with the slingbacks now. I mean, they've brought out a whole pile of new kind of designs and colors and I'm the kind of person where if I find something and I love it, I'll get it in like a variety of colors. Like this sweater, I've got it in like four other colors. Um, exact same thing. And it would be super cool to do that with the shoes. Obviously, it's like a whole nother ball game. Um, but I am obsessed with the slingbacks. I think that they are so beautiful and so classic. And Dior, there's something about Dior that just is always relevant and elegant and you know, I keep saying these words over and over again, but that's the best way to describe Dior. Anyways, I hope you guys have liked this video. Um, please give me a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!